on the beauty of democracy is allowing the expression of feelings and ideas, especially where it affects government policies and programs, which the people may feel will be detrimental to their well-being. Last week, the organized labor in Nigeria issued, a, uh, issued the federal government with a notice to embark on a protest and strike following the hardship caused by the removal of fuel subsidy and workers and Nigerians at large. Last month, the organized labor plan strike was thwarted by a court injunction restraining them from embarking on same strike. Now, several weeks after the promise uh, by the federal government to roll out palliatives for Nigerians is yet to be seen, hence the resolve by the labor uh, union to go ahead with a strike on August 2. On the platform this morning, we will be speaking to labor leaders in Abia State. Uh, one of them uh, is already here in the studio, and uh, we'll be talking to him as regards uh, their plans ahead of uh, next tomorrow's uh, strike and protest. Welcome once again. My name is Ginika Olua. I hope your uh, weekend was uh, very eventful. Thank you so much for joining us once again. Well, in the studio is the Trade Union Congress Chairman in Abia State, Comrade Sa Ihechi Ngogwe. Thank you so much. Good morning, Comrade, and welcome to the program. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Abians, good morning. All right. Welcome. Now, um, maybe we should just start uh, with that resolve by the organized labor to revisit the earlier botch plan strike this time around. What prompted that? Yes, the strike that should have taken place by Feb um, August 2nd, according to people's view, is not strike. Okay. What the organized labor plan to do is protest. Thank you. Okay, it's a protest. Yes. Okay, not a strike per yes. se. Yes. Okay, so tell us what prompted the resolve to embark on this uh, uh, protest you are about to go on, on I think August 2nd. Yes. Mm. Tell us about it. What necessitated it? You know, the country, the people are really suffering. And then the organized labor, the TUC, and the NLC met and felt that it is necessary that we cannot leave ourselves being strangled, killed, maimed, and many homes are being destroyed, families scattered. We should come together and rescue them. On that note, the organized labor, starting from the national started the negotiation with the federal government to find the way forward concerning this ugly situation we find ourselves as regards to the economy. Thank you. Okay, uh, it's, it's just strictly on the economy. One will be wondering, uh, does it really have anything to do with uh, removal of your subsidy? Because uh, I remember when you wanted to go on strike, that was last month, uh, but uh, it was cancelled uh, going by that uh, court injunction. They said it was as a result of the removal of wealth subsidy. Was that why you wanted to go on strike then? Is it different from why, I mean, on the protest now? Is, that, is it different from what you want to do next tomorrow? Yes, it's not different. What does that mean is that you look at the heat of any situation, the height of any situation, the summary of what you want to carry out. The fuel, the removal of fuel subsidy is just a, one of the major part of what the labor looked at. Okay. The country is suffering. People are not properly engaged. The refineries, the SMEs and other sources of livelihood are not functioning as it should be. And then if you look at the level of suffering you are seeing before the people, you see that no, 
hey, let's do something now. We can't die. Even if your leader wants you to die, it's only the three that you tell that he will die, he will remain there. Let's look for a solution. And that solution is going to the government. Let's talk over it. We better judge her at a war war. So that prompted us. It's not only the fuel subsidy. Okay. Okay. Um, last month, uh, you actually uh, planned to do that, like I said earlier, uh, that protest. I don't know if it was supposed to be a strike as well, you know, the one that you planned for June, uh, but was uh, botched. Now, uh, let us look at that. That particular uh, planned uh, protest or strike, you know, then was cancelled because of court injunction. Was that all the thing that uh, made it to be cancelled, or were there other things? You, uh, the organized labor didn't tell Nigerians. Really, um, one thing is labor is that we are well organized. Mm -hmm. If there is anything that you feel that we will have mixed feeling, mixed view with the populace, mm -hmm. you go back to the drawing board, consult the people. Hey, see you. Really, that strike, there's a court injunction. What is the solution to our problems? Then we will now look back at other things and say that, look, since there is a court injunction, is there no other way we can carry out our view? Is there any other way that we can show the government that their policies are not in consonance with the people's welfare. Mm. So on that ground now, we now went back and looked into it and decided that we should continue with the decision to look for solution to people's problem. We are not even the name, whether it is strike, whether it's demonstration, whether it is um, um, protest, we are they, um, we are interested that, that the end justifies the means, and not the means should justify the end. The end of the whole thing, the solution is what we are looking for, to relieve our people from this hard level of suffering. Few people are enjoying, pop the higher population is suffering nationwide. It's not issue of a state. That is why we are here. You know, uh, the speculation out there was that uh, labor leaders in the country actually collected bribes from the federal government. Uh, probably that was why they shelled the idea of uh, embarking on that protest last month, because Nigerians expected labor to actually troop out uh, on the streets to protest or even go on strike. Immediately, the president removed the first subsidy and the other things that followed it as regards to the uh, hardship the effect of hardship on the people. But uh, you, you gave Nigerians hope. You raised their hope somehow, and at the middle of nowhere, you dashed it. And uh, uh, Nigerians are beginning to ask questions. Could it be that Labour had gone behind to collect some you know, financial inducement from the federal government? That's why they just abandoned the plan. Now you are calling out Nigerians again that you want to do this. How are we sure? I mean, Nigerians, this time around, that uh, maybe tomorrow you will not call off the planned protest or strike, as the case may be. Yes. Um, you know that the glory of the latter will be greater than the former. The labor union you are looking at, the labor leaders you are looking at of the past is not the same today. Mm. If you should know who comrade engineer face to his Osifo, the TUC chairman is. Mm -hmm. He's in the oil. Pengasin. Yeah, but he was also there even last month when you wanted to make uh, that protest. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, and yes. And it was aborted. The word aborted is the area I may not see like that. Mm -hmm. I want to look at it that, like I said earlier, when you are hurt by something, you go back and reinforce, rethink. I mm won't -hmm. say that like a balembi chiche. So what am I trying to say? 
you go back and you rethink and you come back in force even in the military there's what they call reinforcement if you send somebody on a mission or a group of people on a mission and what they saw there is more than their capacity they get back to their their their, their superior officer for further directive and the further reinforcement so what labor did was to go back if we abandon that strike if we jettison just left it like that we wouldn't have come back again mm -hmm. that shows that we went back to reinforce and and you know that there's a very big difference between demonstration protest and the strike we are only protesting so it's left for the people. Labor cannot do everything. The people should give us their support. We are here to work for the people. And that's it why we are here. Thank you. Okay, so why you say the people should give you their support? In what way now? You see, if you look at what happens to many developed countries, mm -hmm. You find out that the way they bring back the government to order is mostly through protest. You see millions of people going on the streets. You cannot kill um, millions of people. At, you cannot finish the people that you are ruling. So what am I trying to say? We need the support of the people coming out coming out in mass then then let me come back again yes a balance in Igbo. pamon say loonyen nayan dirohi they joke wa back also meaning that you have got the strength you have got the power you have got the support of the people mm -hmm. so let me say it again in english if you are sent to anything to do especially even if it is bad something because stealing is bad but because you have the authority of your people your father you will go with every force with every strength to do that mm -hmm. so if the people will come out support labor in millions not even in thousands in millions the government will look into the cry of the people because when we are talking about um labor 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 is a human being and there are very few people as i am here now i'm the only person in the studio speaking for thousands of audience mm. as a leader as a leader mm. so if there is need now that i should say let us go to so, 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 place to work on as regards to the good and well good of the Abians. Mm. They should, when they come out, I am ready to even without any gun, without anything, mm. broke the, the, the gate and enter, and nothing will happen because I am there for the people. If you are holding me, you are holding the people, and you cannot hold the whole um, state. So, that is just what we are talking about support. Nigerians should come out in their millions to look for this um, good policy we are asking for, for good economy, for good governance, for good leadership, mm. for good things that will happen to Nigerians. That's what they are saying. Thank okay, you. so this protest you want to embark on on 2nd of August, how long is it supposed to last? Is it a one-day thing, or is it going to be continuous? How long? Okay. It's just like what you said is just like when somebody comes now and say, mm. give us time. You know that give us time is no time. Ah, but incidentally, you are so clever to pin me down and say, how long will this last? You know, we are here in the state. The state. Mm. The meeting we'll be holding today by our leaders in the national. So the national will give us directive. As long as they give their directive, who are we to leave their directive? So how long it will stay will be determined less than 
24 hours now by whatever our leadership decides from the national okay so i i, I really want us uh, to go back to what happened last month when you actually wanted to embark on that protest last month june i remember that a, a faction or rather a group of people from the north your own people said that they were not going to be part of that uh, protest or strike as you may call it uh, maybe i don't know why they you know they made such statement but that was their position and if you say that your uh, leaders are now meeting somewhere um are they also factoring all this into consideration to make sure that you are bringing everybody uh, you know together to champion this because if you are calling nigerians to come and support you of course you first of all lead the charge you lead from the front then others will follow you behind but if the front is fragmented of course uh, when you look back you may not see anybody so how united are you people to make this protest happen right you see that is the essence of going back to the drawing board there are certain things that you learn it it is only the fool that learns from experience but the 21st century life is now is that you learn from education you learn from what you read what you had what you know you don't wait until that thing happens to you that is why they went back our leaders went back and said that what happened last time let us agree tidy up our grievances tidy up our disagreements tidy up our inconsistency in policy making and decisions and come out in a new front in a better front because shakespeare said that good reason should give way for better one so now that they have gone back and looked at why the few people in the north because after all even in the bible mm -hmm. as small as 12 12 disciples are they still have one person that did not agree. Mm -hmm. So you cannot tell me that millions of people or very large number of people over 20 and more or 50, will, all of them will accept certain views. Mm -hmm. No matter that in democracy, that majority will have their way, mm -hmm. but the view of the few will also be had. So what am I trying to say? The, that time you are talking about is because it was not properly handled. Okay. There's few people decided to show some sign of disagreement. But now we believe that the plans, the gatherings, the decisions are properly articulated for us to get a better result thank you okay if you're just joining us this is the platform the pinnacle of all discussion and we're actually looking at uh, that uh, planned protest by the organized labor in nigeria scheduled to hold on august 2nd nationwide uh, you know and uh, we are saying which way after this uh, protest what next we'll find out from the labor leader here and uh, he is Comrade Sir E. H. Ngogwe, he is a trade union congress Abia State chapter. We'll take a break and when we come back, there are other issues you know we need to look at as regards to this uh, planned protest by the organized level. Stay with us. All right, uh, welcome back to the program. It's still the platform, the pinnacle of all discussion. And we are looking at the planned protest of the organized labor shadow to hold on August 2nd, 2023, nationwide. And uh, earlier, I've been speaking with uh, uh, the TUC chairman in Abia State, uh, Comrade Sai H. Ngo, where he's still very much here in the studio. But joining me virtually is the NLC chairman in Abia State, Comrade Pascal. Okay. Good morning, Comrade. Thank you so much for joining me on the program this morning. Good morning, sir. God bless you. All right. So how are you getting set for August 2nd uh, protest nationwide by the organized labor? How has the mobilization been so far? 
Yeah, we are on with it. Mm. Right now, like I said, we are having a meeting right now mm. to finalize all arrangements. The preparation started since last week, and we are really sure we are really ready for the 2nd of uh, August. Okay, so um, tell us in specific terms, what are your demands from the federal government, you know, that actually led to this uh, decision of yours to go on protest? Uh, we have so many of them, so many demands from government. The, the NRC is saying no to anti-people's policy. But, uh, this uh, protest uh, government is also uh, 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 really dealt with all these uh, subsidy criminals, mm. increasing fair price, and all the rest of them. Mm. So, are you in support of the removal of fair subsidy? Yeah, we are. We are. We are against it. We are against it. The policy did not come the right time and the right way. We are against uh, against it totally. Uh, are you saying that you were not consulted before they arrived at this? Because it appears that uh, even when the president made that statement that the subsidy has been removed, organized labor appeared to be a bit quiet. They didn't say anything. You agreed to go on a strike sometime last month, but you, you know. It was cancelled. Now you are coming up again to tell Nigerians that uh, you are going on this strike again. Um, how sincere is labor this time? Because Nigerians are beginning to doubt the sincerity of labor to push for this demand. When the subsidy removal was announced, we wanted to go on a strike and government called for a meeting. Hmm. We had a met and then agreed in certain areas agreed to appoint the committees to look into the palliatives. We government agreed. But at the end of the day, uh, the agreements reached by government and labor, uh, government did not do their own part. And at the same time, keep on increasing fuel price uh, almost every two, two weeks. Mm -hmm. So that is why uh, uh, labor decided to not necessarily start strike for now, but protest. Mm -hmm. We are not going on strike for now. What we are doing to, um, second is uh, protests all over the federation and we want to uh, tell people that there is no thing like uh, labor selling out no labor has been there for the people and there's no way we can sell out now we have a very vibrant and able uh, leadership uh, led by a of all people so there's no way we can fool the nigerians as people talk so tell us this protest you want to embark on how shapey is it i mean uh, what does it entail uh, how long is it going to last where are you taking off from where is it going to terminate and what will you be saying what are your you know grievances that you will be presenting are you going to meet government officials tell us exactly what this protest entail we are going to start the protest tentatively on 2nd of august that's wednesday okay it's not Saturday. Uh, on Wednesday, we are meeting. We are starting the protest on Wednesday, okay. starting from uh, Upper Square through gates down to Abaru, Azikiwe, and then end up at the government house gates. We don't have any meeting with any government, as instructed by the national. So I, I know that uh, there's there's this committee. Uh, the, is a palliative committee. Uh, is Labour not represented in that committee? At the federal level. Yes, at the federal level. Yes, I, I think last two weeks, they were supposed to meet with government and then ask the committee to come and give report. But at that meeting, government uh, did not attend that meeting. And that was on Friday. So after waiting for government, they did not come. Labor had to uh, leave the place. Mm -hmm. So before that, uh, that was uh, two days ago, before then, you were not meeting with the government representative? Like our committees, committees were set up mm. in the last one they met. Okay. And by 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 that Thursday, that was when they're supposed to come and give reports, including government uh, uh, government uh, own area. Mm. But at the end of the day, government did not attend that meeting. That was why Labour said they, they they are trying to deceive Nigerians, mm. and that was why they decided not to actually wait for them. They left without any reports from government area. Mm. 
So uh, let's assume that if government invites you for a talk today, um, is there any uh, possibility of you calling out the planned protest again? Yeah, that will be answered by national headquarters. I'm not from national headquarters. Okay, so what is your charge to Abias generally as you plan for this protest? This protest is not an NLC protest. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I overheard my national, uh, my general secretary in a radio broadcast at this point telling people that this is not at all about uh, NLC protest. This one involves all Nigerians. Your the issue of where pump price is affecting everybody. It's affecting both the rich and the poor. So the protest we're talking about now is not just a nurse. It's for all Nigerians to join hand to make sure the government is stopped from all these their 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 their, their problems, their, 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 uh, you know, in starting uh, problems into Nigerians. You know, it's starting in a firm form. Probably leads to to unemployment, inflation, and poverty. So that's what the uh, nurse is talking about. So all hands must be on the all Nigerians should come out and protest against it. Okay, so, uh, Comrade, um, do you think this planned protest will even yield any positive result, going by the fact that we've seen cases where protests were held in this country, and at the end of the day, everybody goes about their normal business? Because if you're just going to protest without a kind of strike to shut down the economy where the government may be forced to listen to you, do you think this protest will have any effect? The protest may or may not, the problem may lead to a strike and so like when you ask, I said, mm. for now, we're not, not going to ask to go on strike. We are protesting on, on Wednesday 2nd. Mm. And if at the end of the protest and the National Court says we should remain at home, then we'll go on strike. Okay. All right. Let me sincerely thank you. The NLC chairman in our state, Comrade Pascal Nweke. Thank you so much for speaking with us on the platform this morning. We thank you, my brother. You. Thank you, my brother. God bless you. Thank you so much. Well, uh, that was the NLC chairman there. But right here in the studio, I still have the TUC chairman in Abia state, Comrade Sai Hechi Engogwe. Welcome back to the program, Comrade. Come I'm on. sure you heard what your colleague said there, that uh, it's going to be a protest. So we are asking again, this protest, is it a one-off thing? Is it going to be a day? Because if you say you want to achieve something and you just uh, embark on a, a three-hour protest, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. everybody goes home, mm -hmm. the problem will still be there. Have you achieved anything? So we want to know how long this protest is going to last. Is it going to be a week-long thing? Two days? A day? Three hours? How? Yes. So as you can, uh, uh, you'll be assured that you will get results from what you're doing. You know, in the civil and the public service, there's what we call directives, even in the military. Mm -hmm. On that note, we have to start a journey of one million miles starts from a day and start with a step. Mm -hmm. The directive from the national say that the protest starts on the second. On that note, we'll start on that second. Mm -hmm. But as we take off on that second, the, if there is any further directives, mm -hmm. we now pick up from that place. We cannot be faster than our national headquarters mm -hmm. and, uh, and, the, and the people. The people may even demand encourage the nationals look at what we want mm -hmm. then the, the national will also direct but for now we are starting on the second on the second okay uh so uh, have you actually talked about the issue of minimum wage because i know that it's one of those things uh labor will always ask for once that's incrementing for a pump price is is that all your demands you're making on the government or are the other demands you're also pushing forward Yes, this time around, labor is getting more developed than it was. We are not talking about minimum wage only. Mm -hmm. Because some people are not in a paid job. Some people are unemployed. Some people are even traders, mm -hmm. artisans, or other affairs of life. But what we are talking about now is 
something that will affect everybody, including the minimum wage. Because money does not just go, the government does not uh, throw money on air and start people, tell people to start picking it. No. It is when you pay the workers, pay the contractors, they now use it to purchase one thing or the other. And as you are purchasing, people produce that thing. That thing that people produce, people will enjoy it. That thing that people will enjoy, it came from a particular region or a particular place. Mm -hmm. So the money circulates. So I still, I still remember what His Excellency Dr. Oti told us that if you have a viable nation, a viable state, that when they produce something, mm -hmm. that thing that is produced starts from the raw material, mm -hmm. giving people job, putting food on people's table. So we are not talking about only um, salary increment, review of salary only. We are talking about, you look about how does it affect everybody in the country? How do it affect everybody in the state? Mm -hmm. We need to bring out our SMEs. We need to bring out our the, the, this thing, issues that will increase our source of livelihood. The issue of fuel we are talking about is to make sure that our refineries get back to work, mm -hmm. produce their own. We cannot be producing fuel here. You take it to another country, they will enjoy it and they bring it back to us. So what we are talking about is not only salary review. Salary review is there. Mm. Other good things of life is there, which I have said before. Okay. Review of the um, refineries, review of their our small scale industries, review of our um, policies that are anti-people. These are the areas we are looking at. Well, I, I, I want to, uh, I'm a bit tempted to believe that should be your own, you know, demand as a person, not that of uh, the national body of the organized labor. Because why I'm asking this, Nigerians wants to be sure that, okay, if you are saying we should come out and support the labor during the protest, mm. what are we protesting for? Okay, number one, we want this. Um, number two, this is what we want. Number three, so that you convince Nigerians. Like as I told her, I asked uh, your colleague there, the NLC chairman, Nigerians are beginning to lose uh, confidence in the ability of the labor, you know, to represent their interests. I'm, I'm sure of that because I've been interacting with the people. I know what they say. So if you must regain that confidence back uh, on the uh, labor, organized labor in Nigeria, you must be able to convince them that, look, this is what we are championing for in the best interest of Nigeria. That's why I keep saying in specific terms, what are your demands? What are you pushing for? So that you should be able to convince Nigerians to come out and join you and give you that support. You know, Shakespeare said that yes or no is limitation of knowledge. Okay. But now that you wanted specified answer, mm. let me take, tell you like this in a basic form. One, the organized labor is asking for to review the pump price mm. to bring back our station there, our um, refineries back to production, full production. Because there is a very big waste that you pay the people there okay. and, they, they, and the product is not being produced here All right. then the third one as you want it to be itemized mm. everything is not oil we are not in a mono economy we should look at agriculture mm. we should look at other small scale industries people are working there that's the second one. They okay. thought they, they no, the third one rather. Mm. The fourth one mm. is that there are certain policies that 
we cannot mention all of them. But let me continue to mention them. I'm okay. not telling you my own view. I'm telling you the okay, Labour so that's view. the position? Of yes, the of the Labour. Okay. Yes. All right. Then the fourth one or the fifth one is that you must have heard that there yeah, are a lot of uh, increment in the unity schools. Okay. Then you must have heard that some universities, you know, universities are autonomous. Mm. So universities have increased their school fees. Not even 50%. Almost 190 something percent of what they have been paid. Okay, I will return to that. Let's pay some bills. It's still the platform, the pinnacle of all discussion. And my guest is the TUC chairman in Abia State, Kambrisa Ihechi Engogwe. Let's pay some bills now. While we come back, we may now open the phone line so you can be part of this discussion. Stay with us. 08081826949 or 08116052949. Can also send your SMS on 09065108289. This is the platform, the pinnacle of all discussion. We are looking at the planned protest of the organized level, shadow to hold on August 2nd, 2023, nationwide. Hello, good morning. Uh, good morning, uh, Jenica. Good morning. Good morning, the guests in the studio. Good morning. My name is Enoch Lutokuru, and I think we're talking to Kumo Tukuli. Welcome, go ahead. This, thank you. This NLC and that's on this side, it is this constitutional right to do so. The fact of engaging in protest, I discovered this from here to now, it's ridiculously at that time, it's long. And once you get uh, an explicit to consider the fact that many so, you are very able and, uh, and if you come out to support you, and if you compromise, yes, that is your own service interest. Contrary to your safety, you have to perform during the past protest, which is a metamorphosis into violent protest that cuts the portion of property. If something like that happens, if we uh, definitely be intractable, intractable and uh, as usual, the federal government will uh, declare the police agencies to shoot them and they later deny that nobody was uh, shot. Remember how people okay. were shot at the kids' soldiers? All right. Uh, when Thank the you. Start there, Thank you. No harm. Thank you. Thank you so much, Enoch, for calling us there. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, my brother. Good morning. Welcome. I remain Castle of High School. I'm calling from Economist. Okay. Go ahead. The blessed land. Based on the topic you are discussing about the strike that are trying to embark on, mm. my advice to them is this. If they are embarking on strike, they make sure it is uh, it is legal. Let it not be illegal. Mm. Because of security purposes. Because it might involve life. So they should be careful. Though it's good, they are fighting their rights. Let it be legal. Let them be protected because of losing of life. We don't want to lose anybody. Yes, thank you very right. much. Thank you so much for calling us there, Ike. Uh, okay, hello, good morning. 08081826949 or 08116052949. Can also send your SMS on 09065108289. Hello, good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. This is uh, Chief Stanley C. Asso from Amidolokoro. Okay, go ahead. Now, you see, uh, um, I've had uh, all the labor uh, officers interacted with uh, what they have all said. Mm. In fact, um, the, the issue is this. The Nigerian Labor Congress and uh, the other... The Tuesday. Other, Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday. Yes. They have betrayed the trust imposed on them by Nigerians. Because, um, believe me, before the end of the day, you notice or hear that envelopes, you know, have, have gone across. Believe me, believe me. That, hello? Go ahead. Yes, this is just the major problem. Because all of us are uh, in the same market, buying and selling working in the same places, but the issue is that they always betray us. They said they need support from the people. Yeah, they said that there. Mm -hmm. But if we encourage them to do that now, 
before the end of the day, you will hear a different story. So that is why we don't have confidence in them. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you so much for calling us there. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. How are you today? I'm doing very well. And you? Yeah. The gentleman over there, how are you? Fine, my brother. Thank you. I'm a character from Balkan. Okay. okay. Go ahead. You see, uh, my share is PUC. I do call PUC. Those people, they are not to share to themselves. They will, uh, at a certain time now, they will back out. This LLC, LLC, I have confidence in LLC. The PUC is I don't have confidence. Because the government will call them now and settle them. And they will try to sabotage LLC. So if they are going to do this strike, let them decide on what to do. And no one should back up. Okay. Well, I, I think uh, maybe you've exhausted your airtime there. Well, I think you've made your point too. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Gidika. Good morning, welcome. Good morning, guys in the house. Good morning, my brother. I am Kwekwendadwa. My name is Obama. I am calling from Vase, the hometown of the presidency. So, I'm okay. Kochi. Go ahead. Excuse me, sir. Let's talk about the issue of uh, MLC and the federal government trial. I would like the federal government and the MLC I'm analyzing this thing well. This is the level of ghost strike. Every, all the Nigerians will go down. I would like the federal government and the state government of Nigeria Every border, they are not listening very well. Not to listen, bring hardship for Nigeria. Okay. Thanks, I'm begging. Right. Thank you. Thank I you. Thank you so much. Well, to our Facebook page, this one is coming from Ezeka Elvis. He said the proposed strike or protest by NLC is rather coming too late because they failed woefully to do the needful at the initial time. I believe Nigerians will only take NLC serious when they are ready to do the right thing. Much love. Thank you so much, Ezeka Elvis. Uso de Modi said NLC has teeth, but they could not bite. I will always remember Oshomole of the then NLC leader during OBJ. Okay, thank you so much. Nobo El Monday said NLC no get mine. They will call out their strike within 24 hours if I told them back on it. But I know they will even cancel the industrial action after Tinubu's broadcast by 7 p.m. Well, uh, that's your opinion there. Um, to our SMS line, this one is coming from Kano Zomba in Isukwara. He said, how will those of us at the local government level participate? I'm sure the TUC chairman here will respond to that. Um, this one is coming. Okay, he said, no name here, but he said, Labor Union should be very careful with public protest and work. Like I said, let Labor open its eyes and such mass movement could be infiltrated. And hijacked okay thank you so much uh this one said it seems that the nigerian labor congress has compromised with federal government over subsidy removal chica norom from omukade in our state well that's your opinion now uh chairman you heard what uh, the people said there one the issue of lost confidence on tuc that you may likely sell out and allow nlc you know to look uh, somehow uh, serious about the whole thing What's your reaction to that? Yes, even immediately that caller said that in, I know that I have to react on that. Mm. I, in this platform, and in our May Day, mm. I think I said something close to this. No union, whether TUC or NLC, can carry out strike or protest mm. without the the two labor centers mm. agreeing and supporting what, what 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 does that mean what it means is that that nlc raised an issue then tuc supported them means that tuc is in that um, strike okay so they, they are not likely to pull out they have not that word pull out they have not mm. the issue is this it's just like the last strike mm. we, we had because in the, the, the allegation there by that caller said yeah. that you may likely be called by the uh, the federal government behind yes. Yes. and you'll be offered made some offer and uh, you will just 
you know, back out of the whole process. You see, uh, if you are um, well conversant with unionism, mm. uh, you will know that every office, mm. there is no office meant for um, DUC workers or NLC workers. Okay. So everybody suffers the same thing. That okay. a particular union started a struggle and it was supported by the other one. Once a party pulls out, that word pulls out, mm. automatically that strike will not work because the gate and the offices will be open mm. because the TUC workers are there. Mm. So the strike cannot work without the agreement of the labor so centers. you are supporting labor 100% with this? Yes. Okay. We are All in right. this thing. All right. Let me sincerely thank you. Comrade Sa Iheche Ngogwe, the TUC chairman in Abia State. Thank you so much for your time on the platform this morning. We appreciate thank you. you. Thank you And uh, to the NLC chairman who uh, joined us earlier, and, uh, we say thank you to you and to all of you who called in and who sent in your text messages. Thank you so much. May God bless you. She said thanks to... Okay, Stephanie, thank you. Wizzy, Samson is my producer. God bless you, Stanko. And Charles, the guy is behind the camera. We really appreciate you. My name is Guinea Khan Aloha. Let's make Nigeria great. I'll see you again. Good night.